Okay, it's been about 11 minutes. And uh, this is the mold that I'll be using. Put it up there to get it warm. And it looks pretty molten in there. Give it just a minute or two more. One of these cast iron molds, I was told to uh, use something to keep the stuff from sticking. The guy at the gold prospecting shop. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> Don't do that. He told me that olive oil works pretty well. So. I'm going to try. I think it ought to be about right. Turn it down. Just go over there. I'll put it. these molds to cool off too quickly because if they do they crack so see if I can you know one thing good idea to have some safety equipment around like gloves glasses that on there. Somehow or another. Uh, not being very careful. Like the man said, I don't have the shakes. I'm just quick. <laughs> other stuff. Looks like little pieces still in there. Maybe I should have let it melt a little longer. But we'll find out on the next one. Okay, it's been about 10 or 15 minutes. Turn this down. I guess since that's all the material, we'll turn it off. Turn this off. Take that off. The 
set that back in there and uh, let it cool. If you leave it out and it cools too fast, it'll break. This stuff should solidify pretty quick. So, I'll go out and see what happens. soft inside there. Hmm. Well, that was unexpected. My like gum. And it's silver looking. I don't know. I'll let that cool off. Crush it up. See what I got in there. And probably we melt the rest of it. And from the looks of the crucible, the gas going around it has eat holes in the sides. That may just be a one-shot crucible. One or two. So I'll be back in a little while. Just for whatever I get out of this. And melt all that down and we'll see what happens. <laughs>